Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Uh, I thought I would start today's video off just a little different because we're going to be talking about some new words that we might have heard before, you know, maybe outside of school, maybe in school, but I thought it was really important for me to explain these words that we're going to be hearing today before we dive right in, okay? So the first word we're going to talk about is length, and length, all that really means is how far something will go from one end to another, okay? I'm going to give you guys an example in a moment. And we're going to be talking about items that are longer. And longer means if two things start at the same point, which one goes farther? And then that's it. Uh, so let me compare two quick things, okay, before we get started. Let's go see where we're going to compare and see which one is longer. So one of the things that we're going to be measuring, or see which is longer, is this TV. Now, which is longer, this TV or this Zelda poster? Ooh, ah, Zelda poster. So which one is longer? Uh, so you can see that they both start at the same point, right? They both start right here. The TV starts there, and the posters lined up perfectly with it. So then we're going to start moving and see which one goes the furthest. So I'm going to start with the Zelda one. It keeps going. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Oh, no, the Zelda poster stops. But you see the TV still keeps going. So the TV is longer. They both start at the same point, but the TV goes further to the other side. So now we know that the TV is much longer than the poster. All right. So I'm hoping that this little example helped. Okay, I know that I, ooh, it's a little wobbly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But now let's go into our math workbook. We're going to try a, a couple example problems together. And you know, we're going to make sure we get comfortable with this. And then we're going to try some problems on your own at the very end, just like we always do. All right. So let's go ahead and get our robot turtle book open. All right, guys. So right now we are open in our robot turtle books. Make sure you're on page 493. All right. A little bit bigger because I know it can be hard to see sometimes. So we're on 4, 9, 3. This is the page we need to be on in our robot and turtle book. So if you don't have this open, pause the video, hit the space bar, and get this page open. Then hit the play button and continue on. But if you saw this video playing, I'm going to keep on moving. So let me clear that. Okay. And then we're going to see what on earth they want us to do here. It says, can you put these objects in order from longest to shortest? How can you tell if one object is longer than another? Well, I'm so happy they asked because I have a little trick. So for this, we're going to use our pencil, and you can go ahead and get three crayons. The colors I'm going to use are green, blue, and red. So uh, if you want to pause the video, get your crayons ready. If you want to use them, you can. If you don't want to use crayons or you don't have any, that's okay. You can just use your pencil instead of a crayon. All right, so the first thing I like to do is I like to look at where all of the objects are starting at. You can tell that they all start at the same same spot right here. See how all of the ends of these are all at the same point? It's like a starting line for a race, right? And they're all at the same starting line. And then, so now that we have our starting line, we're going to, uh, I'm going to pick a different color. So let me make my star line uh, a little bit darker. I like to keep everything different colors. So you can use your pencil for the starting line if you want. Okay. They all start right there. And then where each item stops, I'm going to make a line exactly where it stops. So where this green marker stops, I'm going to use some green. And I'm going to lightly color up and down to show where it's stopping. Then for the paintbrush, I'm going to use a blue and I'm going to just draw a little line going up and down showing where that is stopping. And then last, our pencil. I'm going to use some red to show where the pencil is stopping. Okay. 
So I know it might look a little goofy, but there is a reason for this madness, I promise. Okay. And all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at our starting line, right? This black line we made. And we're just going to start having our pencil just kind of, you don't have to draw on it, but I'm just going to draw so you can see that I'm dragging my pencil across. And oh, we hit a green line. Which object stopped at the green line here? That was our marker. So this is actually the shortest because it doesn't go nearly as far as the other two. And it's the first line that we hit. So that's how we know it's the shortest. Okay. So think about those words. That's how we know this was the shortest. So right here in our little chart where it says longest is on top and shortest is on the bottom. Right down here, or for the shortest, we can write marker. All right, so that's one object down. Okay, and then we're going to keep on moving our pencil along after the green line. Do, 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 do. And then we hit the blue line. Which object was at the blue line? It was the paintbrush. So that is our next longest object. So it's not the longest, it is not this top one, okay? We're not there yet. So we already did the shortest, right? That was the marker, check. Now the next one that's just a little bit longer, it's not the longest, it's just a little bit longer, is the paintbrush. So that is our next one, check. And in this spot, we can write paint brush. Okay, and then we're going to get our pencil back on this blue line and keep moving along. Do, 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 do. And then we hit the red line. And which object made it all the way to this red line? Well, that was the pencil. So now in this last space, we're going to write pencil. And we finished our chart. So instead of doing what they said, which is saying which is the longest and starting from longest to shortest, I like to start from our starting line and see which one is the shortest first and work my way up to the longest. So our shortest one was the marker because it didn't go nearly as far. The one that went a little bit further was our paintbrush. And remember, we know this because right where the paintbrush stopped, we made this blue line. And then our... Uh, the next for this object, which is the longest, was our pencil. And we know that is the longest because we made this red line where it stops. So we can see the difference between these three objects. Okay? And that's all we're doing today. Um, I really enjoy this unit. I think it's really fun. I think you guys are going to have a blast with this. So we're just going to be talking about which object is the longest and which one is the shortest for the entire day. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and turn our pages to page 494. Right, and here's page 494. Okay, and all you guys had to do was turn a page. I had to reload you know, a whole page on my screen. So if we wanted to go through the same thing we just did with these worms, see which one is the longest and shortest, we can absolutely do that. So I'm going to start with uh, a starting line, right? So in black, I can make a little starting line here. This is where every worm starts. And then for the red one, well, where that one stops, I can make a little red line. Do, 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 do. And then for our blue worm, I can make a little blue line. And I don't really have yellow, and that's a little hard to see sometimes. So for this yellow worm, I'm going to make a little green line. Okay, and then you can see which one is the longest and shortest. So if we take our pencil and just kind of go across, the first line we hit is red, and we see the red worm is our first one. So this is going to be, I'll put number one, and then we're going to keep going, and then we hit the blue line, and then our blue worm is next. I'll put a little two next to this blue worm, and then keep on going, then we hit the green line, and that's our yellow worm. I'll put a three. So the one, 
that's our shortest one. That's the first line we hit. That is the shortest. And then the longest one, well, that's the one that I put number three on because it went the farthest from the starting line. All right, and we're just going to be uh, telling the difference between longest and shortest for a couple problems. But I think you guys are probably catching on to this really, really fast. So let's go down to number one. We're just going to kind of zip through this. Okay, this is the same thing except they have the objects going the other way. So instead of starting over here next to the one, they're starting way over here and they're going that way. Okay, don't let that throw you off. We can still do the same exact things that we were already doing to keep track of the longest and shortest. So you can make a little starting line because see where all the objects start. And that's our starting line. Next, take one of our colors and you know just pick one of these straws. And you know, I'm gonna start with this one. This is gonna be red. And I'm just gonna draw that line going straight up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then for one of the other straws, um, put blue. That's where that one stops. And then this other straw and make it green. That's where this one stops. So you see how I'm not making it perfect, but it's good enough that I know. All right, next, we're just going to start at our starting line and go on over. Do, 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 do. Oh, red. That was the first one. So this means this is our shortest, right? Put a number one there. And we keep on going. Do, 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 do. Next, we have blue. This blue one is a two. It's not the longest and it's not the shortest. Then we keep on going. We hit the green. This is our three. This is the longest one. So this first word here, we can actually tap this out. O, A, N, G. And then E, S, T makes an S sound. Long est. So which one went the farthest? That's what longest means. Which one went the farthest? And you see they're drawing a line to this pink straw. And we even checked to see this one was the longest because we made all these colorful lines. And then this bottom one is, well, we can tap this out too. Sh or t est, shortest, which means smallest, all right? So we know the smallest one was the straw that had the line we hit first which is this purple one that we drew a number one on because that was the first one we hit so we're going to draw a line from the word shortest all the way down to this purple straw and that's it so now we're showing which one is the longest remember longest just means which one goes the farthest from our little starting line and then shortest is the smallest one that's it and if you if this is really easy for you and you don't need to draw all these lines, that's fine too. This is just something that some friends can do if they're having trouble with this. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing for number two, except you're gonna try this on your own. I'm gonna draw the little starting line for you. This is our starting line back here. Okay, so go ahead and try this one on your own. Draw a line from the word longest to the paintbrush that is the longest. And then, and you can use different colors for this if you want, for the word shortest down here, draw a line from the word shortest to the smallest paintbrush. I'll give you guys a moment to do this one completely on your own. Okay, I think that might have been long enough because you guys are just drawing lines. You're not really doing any number senses or anything like that. So let's check this out. So I'm going to just draw a couple of lines here to measure them out. Then I'm going to draw a line for this purple paintbrush here. And then draw another line for this uh, paintbrush here. And then... Draw a line for this blue paintbrush right here. All right, 
now we're just going to see you know which one uh, hits a line first and which one hits a line last okay so our starting line do, 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 do. oh I hit the blue line first that was our little purple paintbrush here so this is our number one and then we keep on going do, 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 do. We hit the green that was his paintbrush at the bottom here so this is a two it's our next longest one then we keep on going then we hit our green paintbrush up here with the red line and this is a three this is the longest one so now we know which one is the shortest and longest shortest one is going to be straight over here right in the middle because it hit the line first it stopped it didn't go as far then the longest one is the one that went the farthest which is the one we labeled with the number three up top and then that's it the whole problem is done now okay all right so if you're not in my class please go ahead and let your teacher know that the video is done hopefully you guys get it have a really good understanding of this now uh, i don't think this is too difficult of a lesson for friends that are in my classroom we are going to do our independent work next all right so click on our man in the blue box go to classwork and you'll see that it says 12-1 quick check this is your first assignment some savas questions after that you have the extra practice which is on IXL which is a really fun one Gave some really nice pictures with that. And if you get done all those, there is a challenge. And what you're going to do is go on to this Jamboard link. And it has a whole bunch of spaces. And they want to know which items can fit in which space. So if um, something small fits in the A space, you're going to just get a little post note, sticky note. And you're just going to write the letter A. And then put it in that correct spot. Now you can shrink it down. You're just going to put it in the correct spot. Is it the first one? The second one? The third? The fourth? Okay. And then do the same thing with all the other spaces. Which item fits in the B space? Which item fits in the C space? And which item fits in the D space? And then that's it. That's all there is to it. So I uh, hope you guys find this to be pretty easy and fun stuff. Uh, if you're confused, you can just jump back over, kind of sit through the remainder of the lesson if I'm still teaching it. Um, but if not, there's your three assignments, guys. So you have your the quick check, the extra practice, and the challenge. Go have some fun with this. I think this is a really fun unit. All right, so I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.